Thank you very much, Jay. Appreciate it. A local woman is out more than $10,000 after a beauty school she was going to abruptly closed. She and her classmates are now left with a lot of questions. Our Perry Robinson has what we can learn from her story. Perry. Hey, Greg. Well, actually, when we had a chance to speak to the woman, she told us that she was left stunned and is now pleading to get her money back. Imagine paying thousands of dollars to go to school just to find out it might go to waste. School was supposed to start on Tuesday. Nothing. Nothing. The young woman who did not want to show her face on camera graduated with a degree in social work from the University of Kentucky last May, but she decided she wanted to do something different. A few months later, she enrolled at Richport Technical College, a cosmetology and esthetician school that sits right off Blue Bonnet by the mall. According to the documents she provided us, she enrolled back in November, paid her tuition, and was set to start this week. But then... She emailed me yesterday to tell me that they're permanently closed and she didn't mention a refund, nothing, just we're closed. No explanation, no refund. Just two locked doors and an email saying the school was forced to close. You might be wondering just how much this woman had to spend. The tuition is 10 grand and 300 dollars. The school accepted financial aid, and according to her documents, about 5,900 of her federal Pell Grant was paid to this school. We decided to swing by the building, but the doors were locked, and some coverings on the window prevented our camera from getting video inside. But when we put my phone against the glass, it gave us the view we needed. You could still see chairs and computers in place, but nothing was happening inside. The woman thought that since the school could accept federal dollars that they were legit, but now she's having second thoughts. The school is on there, so also I assume if a school is on there, they can't be like a scam. She hopes she and her classmates can get the answers they deserve. This makes no sense. Well, the woman did file a federal dispute about the financial aid that was paid. That way she can get that money back and enroll in a different school. Greg, back to you. Just a huge inconvenience. Thank you, Perry. Appreciate it. A